Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up WordPress user roles and permissions. First of all, where can you find these roles? So these roles are generally assigned within users. So if I head over to my WordPress dashboard and click on users right over here, I would be able to see a role right over here. So this user admin123 has a role of administrator. This user test user1 has a role of subscriber. So in general, there are six different roles in WordPress and there are some exceptional cases when it comes to WooCommerce but we are not going to count those. So we have the subscriber, contributor, author, editor and at the very top we have the administrator. Now we do have a separate video explaining all of these roles but this video is going to be a more like a tutorial. So the first thing that we are going to cover within this WordPress user role tutorial is how to assign a WordPress new user a specific role. Well for that simply click on users. And then you're going to add in a new user. So click on add new, then provide the user with a specific username. So let's just say I want to create a user with user2 as its username at cis.com, then provide the name and then generate a strong password. Right under this section, we can see a role. So right over here, we can choose the role that we want to assign to this particular user at the time of creation. So if I want this particular user to have an author role, or to be an author on my WordPress website, then I'm going to simply select on author right over here and then click on this add new user button. Now back to the user screen, we have user 2 and the role is set to author. Now the second thing is how to change the role of an already existing user. For that, we're going to change the role of this test user 1. So basically come over to the users section and then you're going to simply click on this edit button right over here. Now this is going to open up the profile settings for that particular user. We're going to come over to the role section, change the role to whatever that you want to assign. So I'm going to change it from subscriber to also an author and then simply scroll down and update the user. Now number three is how to remove WordPress user roles. Well, technically you can just change the role to something like a subscriber. So let's say I have an author and I wanted to change it to subscriber Then I can simply click on over here and then choose subscriber. But if you want to entirely delete a role, meaning that if you want to delete the user, then head over to users, click on this delete button right over here, click on confirm deletion and in this way you would not only delete the role but also delete the user from your WordPress website. The next thing that we are going to discuss is how to create a custom new role on WordPress. Now by default, WordPress does not provide the facilities to actually create a new user role but with the help of plugins anything is possible on WordPress. So you can use plugins like WordPress SSO by Cloud Infrastructure Services, WP Front and members. So I have installed WP front over here. So simply click on that and then click on add new. And then you're going to simply change the display name of the role. So I'm just going to call this one as comment moderator. And then I'm going to allow this comment moderator to be able to moderate comments and nothing else. Once that is done, I'm going to simply click on this button that says add a new role. So now I have successfully created a new role for common moderator. Now to assign this role, I'm going to go over to users and then I'm going to select this user, come over to the role section and from the drop down menu list, I'm going to simply choose comment moderator and update my user. So now you have successfully created a new role and even assigned it to the previous user. Now the next thing is how to set capabilities and permissions of a role. Again, with the help of plugins, I'm going to visit all roles and I'm going to change the permissions of this editor role. So I'm going to click on edit. And then if I want the editor to be able to switch themes, then I'm going to select that over here. I can select the option for plugin and I can even make the editor manage the user by selecting this option. Once that is done, I will simply click on this update role button at the bottom. Now this is going to change the permissions that a particular role has on my WordPress website. You can improve user roles and security with the SSO plugin by Cloud Infrastructure Services. I would like to tell you that there is a plugin developed by Cloud Infrastructure Services which is known as the WordPress Cloud Single Sign-On Plugin. Now this plugin provides a lot of different features and benefits such as WordPress Single Sign-On, security protecting your website with auto redirect to IDP, attribute mapping, auto redirect to SSO, WordPress role mapping and so much more. So make sure to check out the link in the description box for the plugin listing on the official WordPress website. Now that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. 
other than that also check out the blog link in the description box which contains more information about user permissions and roles in wordpress and if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel